how's it going on everybody this is cs50w's final project uh, which i've created is a discount notifier now what it does is it allows users to add products from amazon and set a price which which they want to buy it for and um, i have created two servers for it one serves the web application and the other is a uh, python script that is going to scrape data from it and compare scrape data from amazon and compare it from that which the user has set and whenever the price of the uh, product on Amazon is less than that of the user's price, then they'll get an email notification. However, I have reversed the logic a bit uh, just to demonstrate it uh, instantly because Amazon's price is not going to get lower quite fast. So whenever the price at Amazon is greater, which is going to be always the case, then I'll be getting an email notification. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to register myself pretty quickly, clicking on the register button, and then so my username should be something else. And sign up. Oops, I have messed up the passwords. So clicking on sign up button, I'll be registered. Okay, now if I log in, I'll be taken to a blank page where I can add my Amazon products. So let's say I want to add this AC, which is 20,490 20, rupees. And if I click on the add product button, AC. URL 20,000 on right for 20,000 with one ad product and I haven't gotten any email right now because there's no product at all in the database it's taking a little bit of time to load however okay so my AC has been added 20,000 energy um okay I'm going to reload it so if I want to fetch the current price from Amazon I can click on this button and its price would be 28,490 28490 has been fetched. If I click on the product on Amazon button, then I'll be redirected to the same link which I added. Okay, um, what else I can do is I can also update my account and I can update my name, say suffix with a double Q. Clicking on update, that should be updated in. Okay, so if I click on the home button, I'll be redirected to the same page. My name has been updated and if I click on this link here, I am, I'll also be able to update the product which I want to add. So I've got an email notification here that my product price has lowered as per the logic which I added. And if I click on the link, I can go and buy this product. Okay, um, so if I click on the update or delete button here, I'll be able to remove it completely from the database. And my post has been deleted, it's nothing here. So if I want to add another product, say this laptop, then I'll be able to do it pretty easily. Again, click on clicking on the add product button. So I'll say that's a laptop. Okay, and then I can set a price, 20,000. And probably I think that should also be added. So yeah, that's also added and I can do the same thing with it. However, time is less, so I'll show you the other features of the website. So there's the about page here. And if I close the browser mistakenly and then reload it, I think I should be taken to a page where I am logged in, probably. Okay, my product is already there. So if I want to fetch the price again, I can click on it and Amazon's price will be there. Okay, so that's it. I've got two servers running here. One is for the web application, the other is for the scraping thing. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.